tenth order of the day, Honorable colleagues, a motion on need to investigate the alleged massive fraud in 117 billion rice import quarter scheme, standing in the name of Honorable Sajas Oseogun. Honorable Sajas is now invited to move the motion. I'm Sajus Oseogun. I represent Asan Southeast, Asan Northeast, and I'm from Edo, Edo State. Need to investigate the alleged massive fraud in 117 billion rice import quota scheme. The House recalls the federal government in 2014 developed a new rice policy to fast track national self sufficiency in rice production. House also notes that in order to facilitate the implementation of the policy, an interministerial committee was set up to work out the national rice supply gap, allocate import licenses with appropriate quotas based on four key criteria to assess investments of individual companies in local rice production. House is also aware that the policy was aimed at building local capacity in rice production, hence owners of existing rice mills and new investors with verifiable background, integration and the rice value chain were allowed to pay 10% import duty and 20% levy, while merchants who have nothing to contribute to local rice production were charged 10% duty and 60% levy. The House is calling now that investigations into the alleged frauds committed by Onza International Farms Limited, one of the 26 beneficiaries of the rice quota scheme, revealed that it received import quota of 36,000 metric tons under existing miller allocation and 49,000 metric tons under investor allocation, a rate higher than the rate prescribed by the policy despite the fact that it was only 30,000 metric ton capacity with no other investment in local rice production. The House is worried that apart from Onza International Farm Limited, Dangote and Golden Penny companies do not also have existing mills, but got 115, 204 metric tons and 91,887 metric tons respectively why Micap rice with a very small scale meal of between 15,000 to 20,000 metric tons got 82,897 metric tons. The house is disturbed that several other companies such as Omza Farm Limited are in the habit of diverting parboiled rice from one pot in a particular country to another pot in some other countries a situation that maritime experts described as another red flag, irregularity and sabotage to the rice value chain that cumulatively undermine the efficacy of the rice import policy. The House resolves to mandate the committees on agricultural production and services and customs and excise to, one, investigate the allegations and ascertain the extent of non-compliance with the rice import policy by any individual, public officer, public authorities, or rice milling company. Two, ascertain the extent of revenue losses arising from misapplication of the rice import policy or abuse of authority in the implementation of the policy. Finally, devise strategies for recovery of lost diverted unremitted revenues due to gross misapplication of the policy and make appropriate recommendations to address the challenges with a view to ensuring the development of the rice industry and to report back to the House within six weeks for further legislative action. Mr. Speaker, highly esteemed colleagues, I so move. My name is Betty Apiafiorda. Nine who six says it shall be out of order to attempt to reconsider any specific question upon which the House has come to a conclusion during the current session, except upon the substantive motion for the session. Mr. Speaker, we have discussed this issue of rice import um, last session and this session, uh, last year and this year. 
Um, I remember clearly that Honorable Hill also was the chairman of the subcommittee that was handling this issue. So I wonder why we are discussing it again. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We are as it borders on stallion, stallion. But this issue is on Umza Farms Limited. So in the course, by my own records, by my own records, and that's why we were reluctant to deal with stallion because they are under investigation by us in other issues. So if I re refresh properly, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Ali would do that of stallion 50 billion. That was in the last assembly. But in this assembly, there's something about rice. Honorable Nasru, please. Uh, we discussed this matter on this floor, and there was even an ad hoc committee which was constituted, chaired by Honorable Leo Oko. I was a member of that committee, and we did a very thorough job, and we even submitted a report. It was involved. It was involved. All the companies that enjoy the rice uh, uh, quota allocation were involved. Right, Honorable Speaker. My colleagues, I am Comrade Peter of Jeff Patterson. I do move that the motion for the need to investigate the allegation, alleged massive fraud of 117 billion rice import, import quota scheme by Honorable Sergius Ose Ogu be stepped down for further legislative aid. I so move.